Hey colors, welcome back. Uh, this is another episode of Combo Coloring Tips and Tricks. This is episode 11. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Photoshop Actions, uh, how to set them up, how to save time while you're working. Um, this piece here is a haunt, of course. Uh, it's penciled by Chris Craney and inked by Doug Stevens. I'll go ahead and put the their links to their DeviantArt accounts in the uh, in the description, as always. Uh, let's see what we have here. It's just a uh, flat JPEG image, uh, no layer, no extra channels or anything like that. Uh, let me get my actions palette over here. Um, let's see, I have, um, I do have a line art action already set up, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Uh, I have it set up, I have it uh, tethered to my F13 key. So whenever I hit that key, it just takes this flat image and makes it ready to go to, uh, to, go to color, uh, start laying down my flats and whatnot. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. You can watch here in the history palette, see the steps that it goes through. So there's F13, and done. Uh, this image is a little bit bigger. I think it's 600 DPI at 11 by 17. Um, so it takes a little bit longer, but uh, regular comic book pages is just like really, really quick. Uh, so let's look at the steps. Uh, first of all, it uh, selected my canvas, and then it uh, uh, cut the pixels, opened up a new channel, pasted the pixels, uh, the line art, uh, loaded that as a selection, uh, made a new layer, uh, inversed the selection, and filled it with black, and then it deselected it. So let me go back up uh, to the point where I opened the file. So again, we could see. Uh, let me show you first. There's my layer on it on its own, no white back there, and also have a channel just in case I uh, mess up my layer and I want to go back. Uh, I have a pristine copy of it, which uh, comes in handy. All right, so let's go back to the beginning here, and I'll show you how to set this up. Uh, so I have a tutorial. I uh, just set up a new folder. That way, there it doesn't get mixed up with uh, my other stuff. Um, this little folder here, um, sorry, this little piece of paper that called a folded corner. I uh, will click on that to create a new action. So we see, uh, let's go ahead and title it uh, Line Art. Uh, we can now ch uh, check off a function key. We want that attached to, I think my F6 is open. I'll go ahead and do that. And we can hit record. Uh, first off, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to hit D on my keypad. Let's see, you can see here it's going to reset my swatches just to make sure I have uh, back of my default swatches black in the foreground, white in the background. And uh, I'm check my mode. A lot of times when you download images or you get pages from your clients, they'll be grayscale or bitmap because they just scanned them in. Uh, make sure that that's set uh, to RGB or CMYK, whichever way you color. I, I color in RGB, set to uh, CMYK preview. So I'll just double check that. And now, remember I'm on a Mac, so when I say command, if you're on a PC, that means control. Uh, so I'll select all, command A, I'll copy, uh, command C, and then command X, which cuts. I'll cut the pixels. And again, if you're on a PC, it'll be control. Um, so now I'll go to my channels. And again, this little piece of paper at the corner. I'll uh, click on that. It gives me a new alpha channel. I'll command V. That'll paste it. Then I'll hold down uh, command and click on the thumbnail image. That'll load that as a selection. Or you can just click on it and drag it down into a uh, little guy here. And then that'll... Uh, I'll make that selection for you as well. Now go to my layers. Get a new layer going. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, line art, whatever. Uh, just hit OK. And then Command Shift I or Control Shift I from a PC, and that'll inverse your selection. Or you go up to uh, Select and then hit Inverse there. It'll do the same thing. Um, now I'll just go ahead and fill it. Fill that with my foreground color. That'll do it, and then uh, Command D, deselect, and now just hit stop. Now we have everything. We just uh, did our line art, 
but we recorded those actions. That way there next time. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. Uh, we'll go up uh, in our history. We'll just go back to the beginning. So now no, uh, no layer, no channel. And let's see if we did it right. We'll hit F6. And there we go. Simple as that. Um, so we have our layer. We have our channel just in case as a backup. And uh, let's see, there's other things we could do with it. Let me go ahead and close this off. Uh, let's see, another one I can show you to set up. So I can find my image. Been recent. Oh, here we go. So here's the actual uh, colored piece that I had done. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and in that other folder, let me set up another new action. Um, call it print ready. And now what we'll do in this one, all the steps we'll need to do. So like if we finish it, we're getting ready to send it to our client. Uh, they're gonna make prints out of it. Uh, it's gonna be published in a comic book, however you wanna uh, handle it. Um, first of all, you know, we're recording. Just wanna check that. Uh, we'll go ahead and flatten our image. Uh, discard hidden layers, yes. Uh, and then we go, so let's say go to our mode, change that to CMYK. Um, Yes. And then we can even do a save as. I save it to my desktop. Uh, save it as a TIFF. Sure. Uh, and then hit OK. And then we can stop. So now we got the, all those steps saved as an action. So if we have, like, we finished coloring a whole book. And ready to send that to the uh, to the printers, we can go ahead and instead of sitting down and uh, uh, doing every single every single little thing, now we just uh, actually I forgot to assign a, a key, but that's okay. We can just hit our. Uh, I went back to where we first opened it, so we have all of our layers again. Uh, we just hit play, and I'll do the same thing. Right now it's writing the TIFF on my other screen. Here's the progress bar. And here's the TIFF image. Done. Just that quick. So I go from, you know, and again, it just saves a lot of time, a lot of hassles, and um, yeah, that's about it. Just a uh, if you want to save it to a function key, just remember to do that when you uh, when you first start it up. Uh, go ahead and assign it. Otherwise, yeah, you'll have to you'll have to highlight it like I just did. Highlight it like that and just hit play. And that'll do all those actions for you. Um, you know, you might want to go ahead and uh, you know just save these out every now and then as you as you add more and more that way you don't lose them. Or if you're upgrading to another version of Photoshop, uh, you'll have those ready for you uh, wherever you go. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of my color work, you go to my DeviantArt page, lemons.deviantart.com. If you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them here on my DeviantArt page. Uh, I'll just check both. And I'll get some answers to you as quickly as possible. Uh, uh, feel free to, uh, to like if you like what, you, what you've seen. It really helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, and if you're signed in, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do videos uh, at least once a week, or at least I try to. I've uh, been pretty good about it lately. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.